Okay, so week three done. We have continued to slow the pace down. And uh, in fact, we've done a lot less driving, but we did get off road and you're gonna hear from Jess about that uh, in a little while. Nothing super challenging, but it was really nice to stretch BB's legs and engage low range, turn four wheel drive on and, and you know, just try some of those gravel paths. Our first stop this week was the Embals de Aquilo de San Blas, which clearly, again, my Spanish hasn't got any better. It's an incredible reservoir with a dam at one end and so much activity around it in the season. But right now, absolutely quiet. We had a really, really cold morning, like minus three overnight, uh, a lot of frost, but a glorious sunrise. Otis taking full advantage of his morning walks in the mountains to burn off some energy. It was a really lovely drive in, off-road drive, gravel tracks, quite steep in places, loose gravel, uh, a really good example of why a four-wheel drive vehicle just gets you to places that otherwise you wouldn't be able to get to. We headed off for our second location of the week. That was Source de la Valesa. It's near a place called Siete Aguas, which my Spanish tells me means seven waters and it had some of the most incredible fire roads, just gravel track fire roads, sweeping bends, all sorts, that we just had to get the bikes out and go for a ride. Ayla absolutely loves being out on the bike. Um, there's always the discussions of whose bike she's gonna go on, and this time she picked my bike. Um, she constantly chats. Uh, and it was also great for Otis as well, because he just got to have a really good long run. We did, I don't know, 10 or 12 kilometers on each bike ride. And he just runs along, happy as anything. It's good to really make him stretch his legs and get a bit of good exercise in because as we head further south, it's gonna start getting hotter and hotter and maybe we're not gonna be able to give him quite so many long runs unless we do it really early in the morning or late in the evening. So one of the highlights for me this week was finally taking BB's wheels off tarmac. We took it to some really beautiful uh, off-road, gravelly, tracks through forests with you know really great ascents and descents and drops either side they were narrow they were windy they were challenging certainly for me uh, but for bb no problem at all given that i've never driven anything off-road before doing it for the first time in bb which is a 15 ton military truck and also happens to be our home was quite nerve-wracking uh, there were certainly some moments where i felt like i wanted to close my eyes i didn't um, and I think I certainly uh, tested Dave's famous patience. But I think the great thing was that doing it for the first time um, in this environment that wasn't as challenging as, as, as what's to come uh, was definitely a really great starter. Um, and I think that uh, the anticipation was worse than the event. Um, and doing this is certainly building up my confidence for what we've got to come uh, when we get to more challenging environments. As a truck, HXs want to be set up and prepared before you go into the rough stuff. This was a great opportunity for me to learn about a piece of BB's dashboard that I'd probably ignored through fear, if I'm honest, um, and just not um, having the opportunity as of yet. So working your way along the dashboard from right to left, you begin by setting low range. Next up comes four wheel drive. And the more challenging the terrain, you go for rear diff locks, and then if it's super challenging, front diff locks as well. I never dreamed that I'd be living in a big blue truck, but here we are. This week has really shown me that by pushing myself out of my comfort zone and my boundaries, I'm actually capable of this. And it was really fun. Our final port of call for this week was Valencia, or more specifically El Sayer, just south of Valencia. Uh, and unfortunately, where we had beautiful sun, despite being a bit chilly, we got to Valencia and rain seemed to find us once more. So we took the chance to head into the City of Arts and Sciences, which is, if you've not been, an incredible collection of architecture. Um, but it also features Europe's biggest aquarium, the Oceanographic Aquarium, and we spent a very, very happy day there. Obviously, as a former marine biologist, it was the only real place I was interested in going, and Isla absolutely loved it. She saw the seals, she saw the sharks, she saw turtles, um, she saw moray eels, 
so many fish. It's such an incredible aquarium with brilliant tunnels and just there's just so much to see. You could easily lose days and days and days just wandering around looking at stuff. The highlight I think for everybody was the whales, particularly the beluga whale. Um, there are two of them and it kind of swam by and Isla gave it a nice little wave uh, which was really cute to see. And then we explored a little bit of the City of Arts and Sciences. Waterfall was a particular hit for Isla and, uh, and headed back to Bibi. Now, as with everything in truck life, living on wheels, uh, there are things that need doing. And this time during the week, we'd got a low beam failure. So a headlight bulb had gone. Uh, fortunately, Amazon Dropbox works in Spain. So I managed to order some Osram Truckstar bulbs. They're just standard H1, 24 volt, 70 watt bulbs. Uh, and I spent 10 minutes just replacing both front headlight bulbs to make sure that they were fresh and new and even both sides. And I kept the old one still working. So you can the back up. We have absolutely learned this week. Um, as if we hadn't learned it before, but it's really been drummed home that not driving too far, not overextending where we're trying to get to, not trying to see too many places is the absolute winner. We just need to keep slowing down, taking it easy and accepting that we have a very long period of time to be doing this. We don't have to be rushing around. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And this week has been so much better for it. The week has felt long, but long in the best way because we've just filled it with family time, with being together, with seeing friends, meeting new people, seeing new places, and exploring the places we've been going to. Now, if you don't want to miss any of our videos, please give us a like, hit the subscribe button down below here, and it'll let you know whenever our next videos come out. We are releasing some shorts during the week as well, so keep your eye out for those. And we shall see you all next week for week four. Bye for now. How did you feel about driving off-road? Nervous as fuck.